Hello and welcome to this new video of the explaining series. Today we're gonna look at 1-4 on Starbase, as the last voting has shown actually. Yes, there was a voting. Now, um, I can't do YouTube polls anymore because the feature is not supported anymore on my channel. Because uh, you can only do votings in the community tab now and that's only available from 1000 subscribers. And polls are just not supported anymore. So what I did is I put a link to a straw poll post into the comments and pinned that comment. And that's the same what I'm gonna do this week. I'm gonna put a pinned comment into the comments where you will find a straw poll link for this week's voting where you can vote for the next map uh, that will be done next week. So yeah, um, what I also wanna say is I wanna say sorry for uh, not having released the 400 subscribers special challenge video yet. Um, I'm working on it. It will be a 20 minute long video, but with everything going on right now, I have to go back to school as well. Uh, the challenges I'm doing are very, very hard. You guys made some, made up some insane challenges there. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty hard. So I'm working on it. It will probably be finished this week. I hope with Java 2 going on as well. Uh, yeah, we'll just see about it. And now let's get into the ex explaining stuff. So what 414 Starbase, um, there are two valid strategies that can be used. You can um, either do a 5 strafe method or a 6 strafe method and I'm gonna explain both of them. And I'm gonna start with the 6 strafe method because that's how I got above 14 and my current PV of 14.962. So here we are. Um, at the start, what you wanna do is you wanna do a double strafe. So I'm first gonna just gonna show you how I did this. And this might seem a little hard now. Uh, because there's just too much stuff happening in a too short time. But uh, you have to look at it slowly. So, what am I doing? At start, I uh, have selected the sixth slot. Then I jump up and strafe. I turn right, jump up, strafe. And then instantly after, I turn left. Or I turn right, actually, <laughs> and then use my left strafe. So I'm using two strafes immediately after each other, which gives me more height, and then I, I will actually be able to strafe over these things without actually clipping them. That's possible. And what you have to focus on is you have to be able to switch through your slots quickly. So you have to get from six uh, slot 6 to slot 4 easily. What also is possible, you could uh, try turning in one direction only and using your right strafe and then using your back strafe while using your mouse wheel. Also possible, that's up to you, whatever you want to do. But it's important that you use two strafes immediately after each other to make it over these slab things. So if you have done that, you land right about here, and then you turn to the left, jump onto the slab, and use your back strafe. And while using the back strafe, already turn to this direction, so you will make more distance to the portal right here. Then jump up these things, make sure not to clip anything, but clip the last one. So what I'm doing here, I don't clip any, but the last one, and then I watch out again to not clip this so I turn right again and then turn left to not clip anything here. Then uh, what you also have to watch out, don't over jump this and get a boost here. That will mess up your whole jump pattern and it's not gonna be good for your run. So try to not get a slap boost here, to actually land on the red block here. And then you have to do something very hard and that is landing between those two stairs without clipping and then getting a good slap boost to make it onto the slab. That's uh, what you have to do here. Then you can jump on the second slab, watch out not to clip the water, watch out not to clip the ceiling here as well. Uh, then you're just gonna run around there. Then jump to the inverse block and then do the... then do the bit... this jump is a bit hard. So you have to turn around this thing without clipping this. So what you do is... Uh, what you basically do is you jump to this direction and then while you're still jumping you turn to the right like I did here and then you will land onto the blocks then do the jump and run like this you can always skip some jumps here which will make it a lot faster and now um, there is actually 
this is a jump boost strategy I have uh, I have developed myself but I don't actually know if you can do this uh, if you're having a lower ping if you're having a higher ping so what do I do here I go uh, get a double jump and that's and that's how um, do you see this slab there is a slab right here and I use the slab to get a head hitter off it and then get a second jump. Then with a bit of adjusting your jump pattern is actually perfect and you don't have to stop jumping on that jump and run. That's why I do this jump boost strategy. But if you don't want to do that and if you can't do it maybe, I don't know, then you will have to land on this glass block and then just keep jumping there. Then you have to stop jumping for a second there but it, you can still get a 1-4 with it so don't worry about it. Then uh, adjust yourself here so that you will get the slab boost here. Good slab boost. I choked that actually, but it's better to get a, a good slab boost here as well. Then you'll have to adjust to not clip the water here. Then you'll have to adjust again to not over jump here. Jump to the white block and then to the black one again. You don't have to use the red blocks. Then get a good slab boost here. Turn around the corner as tight as possible, so you can keep jumping onto the red block. I think I choked that here, but it's actually possible to keep your momentum onto the red block. And then for the ending, what you are doing here um, is up to you. So definitely what's important is use a strafe right away. That's one important thing. And then you can do multiple things. Either you use your strafes just right after each other. Just one, two... Three. That's possible. One, four. You can also take two jumps here and then land here and then take a strafe into the finish. The strafe pattern is not that important at the end. The important thing is that you use all of your free strafes um, so that you make it into the portal in the shortest time possible. Uh, I got a 14.962 here. You can go lower. I think the world record is somewhere around low 1-4, so yeah, it's possible to get a low 1-4 with this strategy. And now, I'm gonna show to you the 5 strafe route, done by Ender. Okay, so to explain this, I'm gonna use the all map speedrun montage that Ender has done about one and a half years ago. Um, he used the strategy there to get a 1-4 with the 5 strafe route. The link to this is of course in the description and the link to his channel as well. So, here we go. So at the start, you're about 1.5 blocks out from, uh, from the glass and be in the middle. That's the important thing. So I'm gonna warn you, in my opinion, this way to do the start and the middle is way harder to do the double strafe. I know the double strafe seems harder at, at the start, but this. Now, I'ma just play this once and then I'll start explaining what he does here. I mean, it kinda looks hard, doesn't it? So, what does he do, exactly? Um, so, he is actually uh, starting to land right on the red block. With 1.5 blocks out, he should be able to make that with a left strafe. And then... You see his mouse is turned a little to the right, just a little, and then after he lands on that, he turns to the left instantly, which makes him land onto the green block. I will be honest with you, I have never in my life pulled this strafe off. Never. I've never done it before. Because, in my opinion, this is a way harder method of doing the start than actually doing a double strafe. So, I don't know what you want to go for. If this is easier for you, then go for it. If not, then... Yeah, you should not go for it. So now, um, the now there is a part that's pretty much the same, and I'll show you the parts that are different. So you might be wondering, where did he use his third strafe? And that's to skip this jump and run right here. You remember doing these zigzag jumps? Yeah, that's what he's skipping here. So he's la he lands on the edge right here and does a strafe over that. That's how to use your third strafe here. And now, 
Um, he does the normal jump boost strat that you would usually do, like this. And then you have the momentum for the jump and run like this. That's what you would usually do. Now let's skip to the ending. So at the ending, he jumps up, does, uh, does the second jump, and then he strafes instantly as well, once. And then he keeps his momentum up until here, and then does a back strafe to land onto the ice, and then make his way into the finish. And that's how to get a 104.971 with 5 strafes. And this strat has a bit more potential than the other strategy. And um, yeah, both strategies are valid. But this strategy is of course really really hard with the start. The starting strafe is just really really hard. So it's your uh, now it's up to you what you're gonna use. Um, if you're gonna try to learn the double strafe. Or if you're gonna try to learn this first strafe, both work just fine. And yeah, now I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, sorry for not uh, releasing the 400 subs challenge video yet. It's gonna be done soon. Be sure to vote. Go to the pinned comment and uh, go to the straw poll post and vote for next maps uh, for the next map. And yeah, thank you for watching and see you.